Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope this video finds you well. Um, it is right now Monday the 23rd and if you haven't heard, the governor just announced a two week stay at home order, um, but it doesn't go into effect until Wednesday night. So we've got 48 hours to make some magic happen. So today's challenge is going to be writing some notes, uh, some cards, make a drawing on a piece of paper if you want. And my hope is that we can flood some of our elderly care facilities in our neighborhood. We're all about to be stuck at home for the next two weeks, with some exceptions, but for the most part stuck at home. Meanwhile, some of our elderly have been stuck at home in these elderly care facilities already for two weeks, going on some more. No contact with their family, just the facility workers. So whether you have an elderly member in a facility or not, I don't think that matters. I think that they're just itching for personal relationships, just like you and I are. And so I'm going to list some of our facilities in our neighborhood down below with their mailing addresses. And if you could write a couple of cards, do an activity with your, your younger siblings, do a little drawing and write a message of just happiness and hope and just positive inspiration. If we all could just do like two or three, I think it would be an amazing outreach to our community and I know that they would look forward to that. So that is my challenge is let's spread some love in our community. Let's um, get out there while we can. And whether you drop it off to the office, shove it by the door, don't go inside, um, or put it through the mail, I think we just need to spread some sunshine around our community um, and, and write what you need, okay? So that's my challenge. Let's get three positive notes out into our community to our elderly that are stuck already at home, okay? okay? If you have never written a snail mail letter before, it's been a while, I'm gonna list some tips down below in the comments on how to address and go through that mailing process because I know when I do this activity with our thank you cards every year for FFA for like our stock show and all that kind of stuff, um, kids every year need help addressing the envelope. So editing mo here i filmed a little video clip on how to address envelopes that i'm going to show you right here okay, here's your quick tutorial once you've got your note of encouragement written and you're ready to actually address it if you're going to be sending these through snail mail um i'm going to show you how to properly fill this guy out so if you're a mvsd student i have in my google classroom a list of about i think i have 10 or more elderly care facilities of varying kinds with their mailing address. Um, if you're not in our local area, uh, just Google search elderly care facilities and I'm sure you'll find plenty. I was also thinking as I started to process this, besides our elderly care facilities, any of our healthcare facilities right now could use these notes as a, of encouragement to like our nurses and doctors and any of the medical staff. So if you wanna spread the love that way too, that would be awesome. Um, so I'm gonna send this note of encouragement to Mira Vista, which is one of our care centers here in Mount Vernon. It's pretty close to the high school. So you're gonna write the name of the facility in this space first. So we're gonna kind of break this up. I don't wanna write on this, but this top left corner is for your return address information. And if you don't want to use yours, I'm going to use the high school. So that way, if this doesn't make it there, it can get sent back. So up to you. But if you want to use the high school's uh, copy, what I write up here. And then in this lower right hand section is where you're going to write where you're addressing it to, leaving enough space that the top right corner gets your stamp. OK. All right. So first line is the name of the facility. Second line is going to be the street address. So Mira Vista is at 300 South 18th Street. And then the third and final line will be city comma state abbreviation and then the zip code. So Mount Vernon comma wa 98273. All right. Upper left corner, return address information. First line is going to be your name. Second line will be the street address. So the street address for the high school is 314 North 9th Street. And then same thing, city. 
date abbreviation and zip code. All right, all I gotta do is lick it shut and put a stamp on it and put it in the mailbox for our mail carrier to take. I look forward to seeing your messages. If you can't do this, my other challenge for you that I've seen going around is chalk your walk. So if you've got sidewalk chalk at home, when you go around on your walk in your community, if you could chalk some inspirational art, a message of hope on the sidewalk for other people to see as they're walking, I think anything we can do to just show a little love in our own little community locally um, would be awesome. So there you go. I hope you all are doing well. Please don't think that this means you have to stay inside all the time. Like get out there, get the fresh air when you need it, take a mental break. Netflix is going to be bogged down. So you gotta find something else to do to spend your time. Plus it's just good to get your body moving, all right? So thank you guys so much and I hope that we can spread the love together. All right, see you in the next one.